Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Boozman Outdoors. Today we're out at Lake Ashurst uh, up in northern Arizona, uh, right outside the Flagstaff area if you guys haven't been here. If you guys know where Lake Mary's at, we're about 17 miles north of that. Uh, anyways, we're out here, we got a campsite and we're spending about three days out here trying to pick up some trout, maybe get lucky, throw in a catfish or a northern pike as well. Uh, got my truck out here, buddy's got his tent over there, and then I actually just recently got a cap for my truck and uh that's where i'll be staying we're driving down to the water now but i got a nice cot and i'll be good to go so wish us luck and i'll talk to y'all soon Beep. Got fish on corn. Corn. Yeah, a little trout. Woo. Awesome. That wasn't far out either. That was only like maybe 15 yards. Cool. Over there. All right, I'm gonna throw this guy back out here. That's all I did last time. Three pieces of corn, last one hiding the hook. Pretty soon after this, it started to get very dark. My buddy next to me was able to pull in one more for dinner, and we hustled back to camp for some nice wood grilled trout tacos. <laughs> That's not cool. So this is the back of my truck with the cap. I got a nice hammock caught in here. Y'all can uh, write my setup, you know, one through 10. All right, so we're in the back of my truck now. In the cot, not bad. We got Bubba's here, huh? Bubba's, hi! Hi, he was gonna stay in the tent with those guys, but uh, he was a little worried, so he came over here. But, see you all in the morning. Right, bright and early, try to catch some trout. You got me coffee? Yeah. Ready to catch some fish, Talon? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. All righty, let's get down to business. After spending last night, a full day, and another morning fishing on Ashurst, I learned a lot. First things first. As fun as being able to catch fish on a kayak or a boat, it's definitely not necessary. Ashurst has shoreline that is accessible the entire way around. The walking distances between the road and the lake, I would say is no more than 20 to 150 yards. Neither myself or my buddy were able to land fish on the boat either. I had many hits while trolling with a small black swim bait, but nothing sustainable or made me want to stay out there and keep fishing on my boat. Down's winning. We caught about 15 fish and everything was actually on shore and by the boat ramp. This is also where they stock the fish. Depending on the fish's mood, we would catch trout on either canned corn or char choose power bait. I recommend having both and assessing for yourself. We were also able to catch two trout and a crawfish on a watermelon and swim bait water, as well. What up, water? Watermelon spinner bait. Yep, you can catch crawfish with it. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, never he, seen that before. He hit it hard too. <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend that you don't use anything bigger than size 10 hooks with your bait. These trout will strip your hooks clean off with these on anything larger. When it comes to rigging, use a sliding egg sinker. To do this, run an egg sinker up your main line, tie on a swivel, preferably a fixed one and not a snap swivel, and then a 3-5 to five foot leader line with a hook on that. Having this rig will allow the trout to pick up the bait and not feel the resistance of the weight on your line. Trout will often drop the bait as soon as they feel that line pressure and you won't even know you had a bite. I recommend either standing your rod straight up and watching the tip for bites or keep your rod parallel and use a bobber with an attached snap swivel as a bite indicator. I personally like the bobber trick better because you can also see if the fish picks up the bait and swims towards you. If the bobber rises, fish is going away. When it drops, it's coming towards you. 
That is pretty much all the knowledge I got for y'all today. I hope you have a successful time fishing for Arizona trout. If you use these methods I provided you today, I can guarantee you, you will not go home empty handed. If you liked today's video, please consider dropping that like button below. Doing so will help me grow this channel and reach more kind individuals like yourself. If y'all got any questions about fishing, my gear, or my channel, drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, and until next time, thanks for watching Boozman Outdoors.